For today's drawing, I want to make this picture of a snowmobile. And in the background, I've got this resort area or lodge where people go on vacation and uh, maybe go skiing or snowmobile riding. It could be in the mountains, in the uh, Rocky Mountains out west. Uh, the Rocky Mountains are very tall and uh, some of them have snow on them for most of the year. Or it could be in a, a state like Alaska. Alaska, there are parts of Alaska that have snow all year. And there are some high mountains in Alaska also. But this could also do with transportation. People that live in very icy and snowy areas where uh, the snow and ice are on the ground most of the time. Uh, in the past, and even still today, sometimes use a sleigh and uh, hook that up to a team of dogs. And there may be anywhere from two or three dogs to ten or twelve dogs pull, pulling a sleigh with people and maybe supplies. But if uh, you didn't want to hook up a team of dogs, you could just get a snowmobile. And this is the part back here that makes it work. It's, it's got a track on it that digs in the snow, and then the front is a ski. It works very well. All right, I'm going to draw this like a vacation spot, and that's the resort where people stay and, and uh, go skiing and so forth. Uh, to start the snowmobile, I want to get a line down here in this bottom corner. Look how I've got my fingers just right in this corner. And it doesn't matter. You can you know, you can you can be uh in a little bit different spot than mine. Try to get it pretty close to that though. And then let's measure three fingers. So I want to put my finger up against the dot. Now measure with me when I measure. When I'm measuring with my fingers, if you don't do it, then yours is, your lines aren't going to come out the right size. I'm skipping three fingers and then I'm checking to make sure they're flat across. I want these horizontal. I want this line horizontal so I want these dots flat across from each other. And if it's not perfect, it's alright. It'll 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 still work. Now I want to skip again. I want to skip, uh, oh, let's see. Let's skip two fingers this time. I'll move just move one out of the way and I'll skip over two fingers and I'll put a dot here. And how long to make this sleigh runner? The uh, like a ski, three fingers wide for that. So let's skip over. I marked on my finger. Well, all right. Let's put a flat line between them and nothing. Leave this blank in the middle. Don't put anything here. Just leave that blank. And let me look at that for a minute. Okay, we got to go right here and just put a curve on it just like this. Just have to look at it. Then we're going to double up this line with another line that's very, very close to it. I go very slow when I double up a line like this. And these um, skis have this little piece on the end Make it in close. It's just a loop. Let me show you. It goes like this. And that's a detailed part. If you don't get that on there, it's all right. It won't hurt. All right, now let's move back to this line right here. Put your finger right there. And I was saying before, whenever I put my finger down for measurement, you need to do that. Because if you don't measure when I measure, it's not going to turn out. The spacing's not going to be right. So we did that on both sides. Now I want I want a circle, which is like an alphabet letter O. Just like this on both sides. And if, if they're not perfectly round, that's fine. Now double up this line in the middle. Just keep it skinny though. Double up that line. And if you want to take this line and run it up onto the edge of the circle that's fine. And if you've got other little pieces out here 
that's okay too because this is in the snow it's making tracks and we'll deal with that later all right let's uh let's put lines on the wheels and make them look like a pizza there we go zoom out put your finger over on this wheel and cover the wheel and then put a dot just barely above it right there and slide straight over sl stride f slide flat over like this until you get uh, oh let's get right here above the end of the ski flat because what we've got to do now is just put a straight flat line right across all of this like this and then we'll stop and when you put these dots if if you don't hit the dot don't worry make the line flat don't worry about the dot the dots just a placeholder it just shows you you're going to be drawn to that area so don't get hung up about the dots all right one more uh, little thing we'll do here on the ski go to the middle of the ski and put a little rainbow here and put an extra thick dot in the middle of it now uh, go go right above this line right in here somewhere and put a small circle with an extra thick dot in it now look these this little circles right here just close to this line and it's right above this this part of the ski don't don't stick it up there anywhere alright now go from here to here from here to here and put one about two maybe three lines across it like that okay now we can finish this line take this line and keep running it straight when you hit that just skip it and just go about one more finger width past it just like just like this and everything should be straight now nice and flat and straight and we stop this line when we get right above the, where we put this uh, little rainbow shape you stop that line right there which is about a finger wide on mine okay now we get to work on uh, some of this other stuff let's uh, let's go ahead and make this line double thick while we're here I go very slow so that I can watch the spacing and don't make this don't make this real thick lay your finger on top right here above this wheel above this one look if I slide down I cover the wheel or if I lay my finger this way and slide up I stop when I get right above this line and I put a, a dot right above my finger right there but above the end of my finger and now I'm going to go to this wheel. I'm going to point, touch the end of the wheel, slide up until my finger is above this line, and I'm going to put a dot right here above my finger. I'm skipping over my finger and putting a dot. Now look, this dot lines up with the edge of this wheel, and this dot lines up with the edge of that wheel. And we're just going to put a flat line between it. And I missed my dot, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'd rather have the flat line. Uh, flat then to connect it to the dots now we're going to go up one finger width let's just go ahead and put the dot and skip our finger and from the end of the line it's like we're going to make a rectangle but don't put the top in it we're just going to do the sides of a rectangle skipping my finger here nice straight line like this if you're paying attention and you use your fingers to measure and you do what I do then this will turn out now I'm gonna go from here to here I'm gonna put my finger between them and I'm gonna put a curved line in there but I I put my finger there to keep me from going out too far otherwise you might go way out like that so block that line with your finger don't let you don't let your line swing out too far and just connect those two points uh, while we're right here let's just go ahead and go up a little bit and over a little bit and down we'll we'll put the back part into the uh, make the back of the seat and I think we'll go ahead and make the 
top of the seat as well. And this is, um, it's like a, uh, like a saddle or something. You, your, your leg goes down here. As a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and go ahead and make the snow blocker that blocks the snow off your feet. It's just right here above this wheel. You can see where I put it. Your foot goes in there, so your leg would be like this. It would go this way, and then of course you'd sit and straddle the seat. All right, we're uh, doing okay with this. Let's just go ahead right in here. Go to this wheel, go to the middle of this wheel, and go out just a little bit, and then just curve that around. Hook on under there somewhere. Do it with me. Don't get behind. Come out a little bit from this wheel like this, and then let's just curve it up here to the to the uh, double line. Now let's uh, let's take this line from this wheel, and let's just go out this way, and then go back and double it up on the inside right there a little bit. You can see that. Just just look. And on the back, let's see, on the back, we're going to uh, oh, go over here in the middle somewhere and hook on and just run that line out to the top of the wheel, like that. And I may double this to see if that helps it any. Yeah, it looks pretty good. This is the track. This is what makes the snowmobile go. It digs into the snow a little bit and pushes, and the, uh, you, you, steer it with the ski. Let's go back to the front and work just a minute. We just need two skinny lines right here and one or two lines across them. Part of the suspension system. And now we need to go work on this. Let's go uh, let's go right up here. Let's see, let's Put your finger, oh, let's see, right here, in this empty space. Put your finger in this empty space and slide up. And what we want to do is just bring a line flat right across here. Just like that. Nice and flat. This is where the windshield's going to go. So I went, uh, I went in this empty space, not all the way out here, but I just went right here in the empty space and I slid up. And now we got to make the uh, got to make the front of the snowmobile. And you know what? Put your finger right here like this, so that the bottom of your fingernail, this double line runs into the bottom of your fingernail. Get the bottom of your fingernail right there, lined up, just like that. And where I'm going to put my dot, look, it's going to be up here beside the top of my finger. So I'm skipping my finger, but I'm putting this dot above my finger just a little bit. And here's what I need to do, and I'm going to have to turn my paper. I want to hook on here and go down near that dot. I may not hit the dot, but when I get in that area, I want to curve back and run right into the bottom of those double lines. Now, if yours isn't exactly like this, don't worry. it It'll still work out fine. We've just got a few more things to do to the snowmobile, and then we'll work on the resort in the background. Uh, put your finger on top of this and skip your finger and a space. Here's the finger, and then I'll move up to, to leave a space. A finger and a space. Let's put a double line right like this. And now we're going to make the windshield with just it hooks on up here and I'm putting my finger down here to kinda of remind me where it's got to come to right here where the line bends I'm gonna hook on there and I'm just gonna make a line that curves down to it just like this right here and I think I'll go ahead and put uh, another I'll double this line up on the bottom like this a little bit Now you can put decals all over your snowmobile uh, designs. You can put like draw like a flame or something on it, or you can um, put stripes on it. Here's here's what I did on my other one. I just put a stripe across it like that. That looked pretty good. 
Just one more little thing and we're done on this. One or two things. Uh, go right in here and put a rainbow over all of this. Just put a rainbow shape there. And one, two little lines to show that that's glass. It helps that look more like glass. And I'm ready to put the line in for the ground. So I'm going to hook on uh, all right in here about the middle of this line and just go over like this. And it's snow. This is snow. So I want to keep these lines nice and smooth for now. And then I'm going to do the resort. I've got the line for the ground. Now the resort. The line's going to start way up here about halfway to the top and it's going to wiggle its way over all the way to the other side. But you know what? Uh, I'm gonna I want to stop this line and put the snowman in, and then I'll finish it. So here's what I want to do. I want to um, go about halfway up, and I'll make this like a hill. Got to leave room for the resort now. Don't get up too close to the top. And I want to stop because I want to put a snowman in here. Here's the here's the lodge, the vacation spot. I'll start with a square like this and I think I'll put an A-shaped roof over it which is like this. I got too close to the top edge of my paper. That's that's not good. Here's another room on the lodge where maybe people stay and I'm going to slant the roof this way a little ways and then I'm going to go straight over. On this side I'll go like this and down. And we're not measuring because you know what this is far away and if you make yours smaller than mine it'll look further away and if you make it larger it'll look closer. I'm going to start with a slanted roof like I'm going to make an A-shaped roof but then I'm going to stop and go straight across. I think I've got room for one more right out here. And you know what? You could put you could put lots of these on. Slant and then I'm going to go straight across. And I like uh, fireplaces and I'm guessing that they would have heated these lodges. A lot of these guest rooms would have had fireplaces in them. So I'm going to put chimneys all around. Windows for the rooms, like motel rooms. Double doors where you go in the lodge right here. I'm just drawn. From here on, you can do creative thinking. If you don't want to follow along with all this, that's fine. I guess I should have told you that a minute ago. You can go ahead and start putting stuff in there that you just make up yourself. And I'm just going to take a few minutes to put the windows on here. Yours can be entirely different. It won't make any difference to me. A few more lines on these roofs. And there's my lodge. Took a little while. From here on, I'm going to, uh, uh, let's see, I'm just going to put one more hill in here. And I'm going to start another one right here, and it's going to hit the lodge, skip the lodge, come off this side over here. And right in this valley, I'm going to put a sunset. You can do yours different. And on top of this hill, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put some pine trees. And you know what? I'm just going to draw the tops of them like this, because I'm going to go back and color them in, and it'll look good then. So I'm just going to put some some little jittery lines for the tops of the trees. Then when I color it green, it'll look uh, well. It'll look like this. It'll look like pine trees, evergreen conifers. 
in particular. My name goes right here. And that's about it. Um, there's a little more detail we could do back here on this. I forgot that little piece that connects that wheel up to the frame. You could put a few more little detail parts right in there like that. And then um, you could put stripes on yours or put designs, um, faces, like character faces or something. Or you can draw like flames, but you got to figure it out. Creative thinking's your creation. And I'm done. I'm going to put some tracks in the snow. And uh, then I'm going to draw my snowman. And while I draw the snowman, snowman, I'll play you some music. Oh yeah, this this is the these are the tracks where the snow no, snowmobile. Man, I get tongue twisted on that all the time. It ripples up the it ripples up the snow wherever the this track has uh, come through it. All right, uh, here's the snowman, and here's you some music.